Hey guys, a little bit of an off day today because I went to the chiropractor. It was great. I got like seven adjustments. No, I got lower back adjusted, upper back adjusted, my neck and my shoulders. I needed a tune up, but I feel great. Can you say hello? Hello. Say good morning. Good morning. Say kill it today. Kill it today. That's right. Every day. Gotta kill it. You gotta wake up and give it your best. You're not always gonna be performing at, at your peak, but man, if you wake up and say, um, you know, that you won't let the day go by without giving it whatever your best is that day, several days like that, back to back consistency over time, you will succeed. Say, you will succeed. You will succeed. <laughs> Anyway, um, let me think about what I wanted to talk about today, other than motivational lines. Um, oh, yeah, now I remember. It was about my mother-in-law. So, you know, um, you heard the last few videos have to do with not externalizing your shortcomings or where you are in your life, you know, saying, what are you doing? I think you might want to stop that. You're being recorded right now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Comedic value. I'm not good. Yeah, you're being recorded. No. Yeah, I'm talking about Wella Mari. Okay, I'm going to tell a story about Wella Mari. You want to hear it? Uh-huh. Okay. So, a lot of people externalize, um, or it's very commonplace now not to focus on personal responsibility about where you are in your life and saying, well, where have the injustices been? You heard my, uh, a few videos ago. Um, you got to let me talk, okay, if you're going to be a part of the video. So, you got to be quiet, Okay. And, um, I love you. And, um, you know, I, I've, you've heard me quote Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson, ta Peterson talks about the percentage that is actually outside of your control or like really bad luck is like really small. Like may, most people don't have not had severely bad luck that they're that that's the reason why they like their life has failed. Like outside of them, it's mostly just a, a things within your control and that's the whole point is if you focus on the, all the things within your control and you you maximize um uh that like you do the best you can and every you fix every area broken in your life you maximize do the best you can in every single area uh start optimizing that's a better word your life uh, things are going to start uh, rolling in the right direction. It's like inevitable. As you hear me say, success is inevitable. Consistency over time. Do these things. Success is inevitable. But I just want to share a story about my mother-in-law because she's super inspirational. She, first of all, they come from Dominican Republic, immigrate, uh, immigrated here. And, um, and uh, when my husband was a child and his sister they were in poverty and uh she would make 5 25 an hour and she did many things to try to keep her kids Bobby you have to sit still from you're going to be on mommy's video she did many things to keep her kids out of um trouble like she would work i don't know how many hours a day she'd have to be at her job i think by like 7 in the morning so what she would do is set the bus to pick up uh, my husband from like 6 a.m. before she had to leave be the first pickup and literally the bus hold on a second papa stay right there or I'm gonna have to stop the video and get you off of mommy okay can you let mommy do the video yeah. this is like the third interruption yeah. okay and um, the bus would literally drive around uh, for an hour and a half, the school was only a mile away 
But that's one way she can, and she paid this bus. It was a private bus extra. She could keep her kids out of trouble and they grew up in a bad neighborhood. I mean, it would go down the list, okay? Success stories. My husband um, went to school for two years, uh, college. He didn't get a four-year degree. That's what I wanted to say the other day about college, that you don't need a four-year degree for success. But the day that, this is another side note, the day that he signed up for college or forced signed up, pushed by his mother, his mother signed up too. That's how she got him to go. They both signed up for college. She signed up for English classes and, and you know, I guess he signed up, I think it was for music business at the time. And, um, and uh, they would literally go to school together. <laughs> My husband wasn't about school, you know, that's not his thing. He's very, uh, He's self-taught. He self-teaches himself very well. I like school, so we're totally different personalities. But with a two-year degree, entrepreneurial experience, all this, now he's got a really great job that's helping us get out of debt. His sister, uh, the mother, she, she likes school. Mother put her in charter schools and pushed her and all this stuff. She ended up getting a $200,000 scholarship to go to Wellesley. So, I mean, from poverty, both kids are killing it out here. And just an example of a sacrificed mother uh, giving their kids, literally living every breath on how to give her kids everything possible to succeed and as much as a stable home as possible. And she has a success story with her children. But that's not even all I'm saying. The reason why I'm talking about it is... Um, now, what she does mainly is she's janitorial at hospitals. Uh, now she actually um, serves doctors their meals at a particular hospital. So thank God, less physical work for her. But again, all entry level type of jobs that don't make very high wages. And yet this lady... She saw herself through a very difficult financial situation a few years back by some choices she made, and then she learned from them, just like us that were climbing out of debt because we made mistakes. And she um, has since, through her small wages, worked sometimes 16-hour days, two double shifts. She said, I, I didn't know this, she did 21 days straight of 16-hour days at one point. But she hustled, and she has bought a property. And in this property now, she has divided it up, I don't know, seven ways from Sunday. She has, uh, it already came divided, um, and then she made it some further, like an efficiency and all these things, and she's got it rented out. And, I mean, if you want something... Even if you lack education, even if you lack the English language to a high level, even if you lack, and mind you, she had an education in Dominican Republic, but not formally educated here to get a specific career. Yet she grinds and she hustles and on janitorial salaries can buy a property and on sacrificing herself can rent uh, uh, fix this here, do this here, build a wall there and rent her property and have income from her property to pay, um, uh, her house among other things. And I just wanted to share, man, if my mother-in-law can do it on not too far above minimum wage, janitorial, uh, wages, you can do anything like she bought a property and she hustling and she's getting income from it and I mean it's like I'm gonna say this in the nicest way possible but it'll never come off as nice what is your excuse what is your excuse if my mother-in-law can do it what is your excuse it ain't some external force holding you down it's you holding you down part of it could be your own fears um, which is a part, something you have to like fight through. Nobody's saying, nobody's diminishing that. But, I mean, you can do it. You can do it. You can do anything you set your mind to. So I just want to share that because if there's any story that's going to confront 
you and where you want to be and why you're not there, it's the story about my mother-in-law. <laughs> For real. And all it takes is consistency over time. So I've said it before. Ask yourself, what do you really want truly? Like not what society thinks you should have. What's the white picket fence? No. What do you want in life? What is your vision? What is your joy in the future? If money was an issue, if fear was an issue, if pleasing man wasn't an issue, like fear, fear of the opinion of others, what would you want? And then once you decide that, go after it grind consistency over time yields results you did a really good job behaving but mm -hmm. can you say have a nice day have a nice day and say consistency consistency over time over time yields yield results results and say so go win people go win people tira besito to the people those are the best kisses in the world